This is the one where I'll kind of stay back. Me. <laughs> yeah, well, you go before me then. <laughs> stay back and listen for the shot. <laughs> I don't know where we are, but this is like the Blitter Witch Project. All right, I'd like to welcome our friends here today. Patrick, why don't you introduce who you got with you and what you're doing? Yeah, well, I appreciate you guys having us. My name's Patrick, and I started a web series called Love Dawn. Recently, I had the opportunity to tag along with Men of Valor, which is an organization who works with convicts and ex-convicts, helping them give back to the community. This hit home for my friend Frankie, so I brought her along for the adventure, and neither of us had any idea what to expect. The group was led by my friend JR, who you may remember from an earlier episode. They brought food and clothing to hand out to homeless people who were camped out in the woods back behind a shopping center. Look at this. I got some sandwiches. We stepped into the woods and approached our first camp, and it was in complete disarray. And we're both thinking, what have we got ourselves into? Do you want any socks or anything? But the men of valor seemed completely unfazed. They made the woman in the tent some homemade sandwiches, and we pressed on to the next camp. JR, how many people are up here? There's upwards to about maybe 15, and then in the summertime, there'll be 30. And are you on a first name basis with a lot of people here? They just know me as JR, and I know most of their names, you know? Okay, <laughs> all right, let's keep going. Hey sir, how are you? Doing all right? I'm doing good. Good to see you. Men of Valor walked this trail every single week. So when we got to the second camp, two guys we met there were pretty excited to see some familiar faces. Enjoy the sandwiches. I hope to uh, see you again. Be safe. You know where to find me and I'll be here. I mean, these guys just live up here, literally in the middle of the woods by the river. And they make it work. For them being out here though, they seem to be in pretty good spirits. Those guys brought a smile to my face, for sure. Something really interesting happened when we approached the third camp. One of the men of Valor actually knew the guy living in that tent. We grew up in the same apartments, and mm -hmm. um, used to hang out together, and he quit doing drugs, but he just couldn't get away from drinking. It's gotta feel good that you can help someone out that you knew and yeah, grew up with. It, it does. This is a pretty cool camp. We continued on the trail to several other camps, and even when people weren't home, men of Valor would leave sandwiches behind for when they did return. When you guys come out here, what do you think? If, uh, if we wouldn't have made a conscious decision to change our the ways of our lives, this could have been us. You know? It just gives you passion to want to do better and maybe try to help others out too. Yeah. Did any of you guys ever uh, live like this? I have. You have? I've been here. It's rough. I know and you know, I don't want it for nobody. You guys are a real inspiration. To, Absolutely. I mean, you don't have to be out here and doing this. and It's going to make a difference. Maybe not in everybody's lives, but somebody Someone's going to uh, going to benefit greatly from it. We thank we thank God every day for the opportunities that we have. Yeah. And we just uh, hope somebody you know the other people will get opportunities like we did. Here he is. Here. There you hey, go, there man. Is. This is JB. He's the mayor of yeah, this, this area. Cool. You know, I didn't come out here with a plan. You know, he just I just come out here just to stay a while. And it's been out here two years, never thought I'd be here this long. All right, it's good seeing you. Thanks good for letting us crash. Appreciate it. It was really inspiring to see the dedication from this group of guys who were once really down on their luck, giving back to others in need. JR takes a personal interest in a lot of these folks. But one in particular stood out, a guy named Mike, who JR has known for years. Sandwiches man. fresh. You make it? Yeah, mm -hmm. just now. Just now. You're a good man. He got out of here for a while, but just yeah, moved back in. Yeah, got out here for about seven months. We're gonna go over here at the hamburger place and eat. You wanna come eat with us? Mike mentioned that he had been really cold the night before and could use a blanket. So JR went over to the store and got him a sleeping bag. I'm getting a sleeping bag and a charger cable from Mike. So stay warm, okay? JR. Well, thank these guys. Well, thank you guys. Glad to help. Yeah. Well, there you have it, Tent City. It was an amazing experience. We met some really great people. We did our best to encourage them and take them some food and learn about their lives and how they got there, why they got there. I know it's definitely touched my heart and, and made me more aware of all the blessings that I have, and I'm sure it did for you too, Frankie. Yeah. When I was 19, I found myself in a position to where I wasn't homeless, but I was really close. And if it wasn't for my family and my friends helping me get back on my feet, who knows? I could have been in a similar position. So I think just remember to love on people 
don't pass any judgment. Go in with your heart first, and I think you can really make a huge difference in people's lives. So. Great to meet you guys. Thank you, Thanks so much for including us. Hey, Appreciate it. We'll see, see you see Sunday. You Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. We hope you were inspired to get out there and love on someone. Be sure to like and subscribe, and please leave us a comment about a time where a stranger helped you out, and then go out there and do that for someone else. If you wanna check out some of our earlier episodes, you can right here. See you next time.